Hey everybody, it's Pluto, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I think we've done everything else that we need to do in the game. So now, let's go see the person we're supposed to meet at the Temple of Time. Just gonna avoid all of you. It's a shame we can't use light in here to... Like with the mirror shield to get rid of the redeads. But anyway... I have been waiting for you, Link. Link, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened six sages. And now you have a final challenge, a showdown with Ganondorf, the king of evil. Before that, I have things I want to tell you, tell only to you. Please listen. Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the shadow folk, the Sheikahs. If you would seek the sacred triangle, listen well. The resting place of the sacred triangle, the sacred realm, is a mirror that reflects what is in the heart. The heart of the one who enters it. If an evil heart, the realm will become full of evil. If pure, the realm will become a paradise. The Triforce, the Sacred Triangle, it is a balance that weighs the three forces, power, wisdom, and courage. If the heart of the one who holds the Sacred Triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will, be, will gain the true force to govern all. But if that one's heart is not in balance, the Triforce will separate into three parts, power, wisdom, and courage. Only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce, the part repressing the force that one most believes in, representing the force that one most believes in. If that one seeks the true force, that one must acquire the two lost parts. Those two parts will be held within others chosen by destiny who will bear the Triforce mark on the backs of their hands. Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the door you opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hand. The strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become a mighty evil king. But his dark ambitions were not satisfied. To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the two other Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, Link. And the other who holds the Triforce of Wisdom is the seventh sage who is destined to be the leader of them all. It is I, the Princess of Hyrule, Zelda. 
I apologize for meeting you in disguise, but it was necessary to hide from the king of evil. Please forgive me. On that day seven years ago, Gandorf attacked Hyrule Castle. I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant, Impa. I thought I should entrust the ocarina to you. I thought that would be our best chance. As long as you had the ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the sacred realm, but something I could never expect happened. After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in the sacred realm. Your spirit remained in the sacred realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went on to invade the Sacred Realm. Gandalf had become the evil king, and the Sacred Realm became a world of evil. All of this is an unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as a Sheikah and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. And now, you are back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf, the Evil King, will end. The Six Sages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the Sacred Realm. I will then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from this world. Thus Ganondorf, the Evil King, will vanish from Hyrule. Link, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here is a weapon that can penetrates the evil king's defenses, the power given to the, the chosen ones, the sacred arrow of light. You got the light arrow. Set it to sea and your arrows will be powered up. The light of justice will smite evil. That rumbling. It can't be. Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. No, it was not the kid's power I misjudged, it was the power of the Triforce of Courage. But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain these two Triforces, then I will become the true ruler of the world. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. Well, we know what we must do now. It's time.
to go to Ganon's castle. Link, can you hear me? It's Raru the Sage. We six will gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwells. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganon's Tower, is protected by six evil barriers. Bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda. So the sages give us a bridge up. So here we go. Inside Ganon's castle. The final dungeon. So let's just ignore all of the enemies. Basically. And now, before we can go any further into this place, we have to get rid of this barrier. Which knocks us back. So we need to do what we can. Also, I love this design with the the barrier like energy thing stuff flowing in. It's really cool. But anyway, let's get started looking around because there's a few things that we need to do. So let's get started. Also, I believe I can see there's an enemy invisible in the middle of the room. No, it's just a wolf ice. Let's get rid of you. Okay, tree chest. Very nice. But I'm trying to light up all these torches if I can. Please reach. Not quite, that's fine. Just need the one up here. We also have the light arrows which we can use. Just like the ice and fire arrows uses magic. I believe it's quite strong though against enemies, possibly. Although I don't know when I'm going to be shooting enemies with light arrows, so. The rupee, or ice arrows, or fire arrows. You don't really use fire arrows that much, actually. Not as much as I thought you did, but anyway. Now, this place is supposedly themed after the forest temple based on, um,. The medallion symbol above the door that we entered to get in here. The first room kind of is, but then we get into here and there's these these air blowers around, which we've only seen in the the Shadow Temple. So it's interesting that this is here. But anyway, we need to be careful going around here because we don't want to fall into the pit. And we need to get all of the silver rupees. Okay, good. Let's grab that. Oh, don't slide off, please. Oh my goodness. Ice physics, basically. Okay, let's grab that. And if we hit the switch down here, I believe... That makes a target appear here for us to climb up on top and get that rupee. Let's grab that. Okay, good. Now... Let's be careful as we go around. Very nice. Okay, let's see if we can grab that rupee before it blows me away. I think that's asking a bit much, maybe. No, we're good. Cool. So we end up here with this orb thing being covered in the barrier energy. Uh, I was going to take off the boots. Hover boots. There's also pots here for magic and arrows if you don't have them, so that's always good. And apparently health. I think it depends on what you need most, but anyway. Let's shoot this thing with the light arrow. The forest barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, Link.
Every time we dispel part of the barrier, we get sent back to the main room. And the barrier is part of the barrier is disabled. Uh, but also, while we're here, I believe that somewhere down here, I think it's over here. You can go through this wall because it's a fake wall. And down here is a bunch of Deku Scrubs and Fairies that you can get. If you need those, so... Just whatever you need, you can probably get it down there, which is quite helpful for the final dungeon. Ah, uh, but anyway, we need to do a few other things now. So, let's head on up these stairs over here. And keep looking around. Okay. Let's see what we can do in here. Let's get rid of the Beamos. And let's get the silver rupees. Okay. There's a lot of spike traps in here. Also, if I'm not mistaken, the way that the spike traps and the uh, armor statues work is a little bit weird. Because if you push them right against each other, which you can kind of do, no, I think I'm wrong about that. I think I'm thinking about something else, probably. Uh, but anyway, you can completely trap the... Oh, it sounds so annoying. You can completely trap the spike traps in between the wall and the armos, which is just a bad decision. I'd prefer having to dodge them than have them make that much noise. Also, Navi's in the center of this room, which means there's, there's probably a thing here. Come on, please. Control stick. There we go. Although I don't think it'd be the Song of Storms, maybe? Yeah. I think it's more likely to be Zelda's Lullaby. Possibly. Unless it's possibly... Song of Time? <laughs> I don't really know. Nope. Sansong? Come on, please. There we go. It's a sun song. Okay. What's well, so this is... I can't remember what this particular road or place is supposed to be based off of. I think it's supposed to be... Uh... Light. I think. It's supposed to be based... Or maybe it's spirit. It might be spirit, actually. Anyway. Uh, let's just get rid of all this. Also, we can hit that switch through here, I'm pretty sure. It spawns in a chest, but we also need to get... The other switch there, which I believe means that we actually have to... Pull out... The bomb chew for this, which is a little bit interesting. But it can go through the hole above the bars and then go down. And hopefully hit the switch, which might be a little bit difficult. Also, the chest spawned over here, I just realized. Let's grab that. It's probably bomb tree, right? Yeah. To help you know what you're supposed to do. Anyway. I believe... Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I'm wrong. Good. I'm okay with that. Uh, we actually need to use the fire arrows here again. Finally getting some use out of them. So let's burn that. And now... Oh, I need to... Switch sword. Let's aim at that. If we get the wrong switch, though... We get a War Master's dropped on us. Which, I mean, could be good if you need rupees, but... We really don't at this point, so... Ah, uh, but I believe the switch that we need to hit is this one over here... Nope. This one over here. Just so many things dropping on me right now. This was a mistake, it's fine. I have Din's fire to save me. Well, so they just leave, apparently. Okay, let's get this last one then, which is probably the correct one, unless I'm completely mistaken. Got it. Okay, let's keep going. Also, this was spirit. Cool. 
I get some more magic and stuff if I can. Deku nut, okay. Uh, the light arrow. Let's open this up, just like that. The spirit barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, kid. Okay, well, uh, I believe we are a limit, little bit limited to where we can go. So, let's try the opposite side of the upper area. If we can. I don't think I want to go into the fire one yet. I think I have to go into the shadow one. Which also, isn't that the... Am I crazy? Hang on. No, that's right. It's just that the shadow one and the light one looks very similar to me because it's the three dots and kind of triangles I, I you know anyway let's head into here and see what we can do right this is this one cool this one's an interesting one we need to have the fire arrows again this is a lot of usage for the fire arrows that we haven't used much this far uh, but anyway setting that lighting that up makes Paths appear, or platforms appear. So we need to be quick and careful. Blue P. Might actually be a good idea to not go full speed ahead. Also, what's with Navi going down here? Is there a block of time here? How do I how how have I played this game my whole life and there are still so many things I don't know about it? There are blocks there. What? What? There's so many things I've not mm, seen before. Anyway, let's go to the other side of the room now, if I can activate this thing again. It's a little bit tricky to aim at this torch, but that's okay. Oh, please. Please. There we go. Just need to get past this enemy, and we should be pretty good. Also, hang on, I want to try using ice arrows because I haven't really used them much in this game before, so... Uh, get up. Okay. I mean, it freezes this like-like, which means I can take it out like that, so that's pretty good. Uh, but anyway. It's gone. I might also take out this bubble. Also, that looks really cool. That little, that whole effect. How am I missing this badly? It's probably fine. Um, I think I, I think though that I actually need to light the thing again from over here if I am to go any further. So let's light that up. Very nice. And go across here very carefully. Okay, okay. Just want to hit that switch down there. Whoa! Is it, whoa! Was I just floating? I think it was. Ah, uh, but I think I know why. Anyway, this platform doesn't disappear, which is good. Ah, uh, but I do need to get up to that big chest up there. So let's do that, and open this up. And we get the Golden Gauntlets. Which means that all of the items in our inventory on in the equipment screen on the left all go from bronze, silver, gold, except for... I guess we kind of skipped from silver to gold with the gauntlets, but we also had the, uh, the Goron's bracelet, which I guess counts as um, bronze. Also, the, I guess the Zora scale doesn't have any upgrades, but we, we start off being able to swim, so... I guess that could count if you stretch it enough. Anyway, the Golden Gauntlets. You can feel even more power coursing through your arms. Grab with A and lift stuff up. Cool. Also, I... 
I might need to set the thing on. No, we just need to go onto the invisible bridge. Cool. And get to use items that we haven't used in a long time. Or well, that much. Maybe. I guess we have used them a fair bit, but... It's all relative anyway, so... Also, there's a torch there which we can actually light. Does that just light... That just makes the platforms appear back here. So if you didn't get the chest, that's... Or the switch to get the chest, you can do that. Also, this is the platform that I was confused while I was floating in midair for a second. Oh, that's not full. I thought that was full. I, I'm so confused. It's fine. Also, I'm missing again. This is sad. Okay. Everything is good again. I just need to go at full speed. Oh, get up, Link. How dare you. You insult me. Also, you know, it's probably just going to be a, a lot easier to just... ...to this, probably. If, if, as long as I can reach. Which I should be able to reach. Especially if I walk out onto the platform a little bit further. What is happening? In fact, just going over to the switch... ...would probably just be the best way to get over to this... ...torch anyway. So, anyway, I don't know why I didn't do that earlier, but anyway. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. Let's grab some magic. And some arrows. And let's use the Lens of Truth. It's all good. Let's hit that. There we go. The Shadow Barrier is dispelled. Please save the princess. And now this might be weird. But I'm going to use Furore's Wind. Oh, I can't use Furore's Wind. What? That's weird. Why can't I use Furore's Wind? Why not in here? What's wrong with this? What's, 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 what's so wrong about this? I don't understand. It's probably because it teleported me back and I didn't go through a door properly. Which is probably why it's upset at me. It's fine. It's not even not really worth it at this point. It still can't let me. Okay, never mind. I guess you just can't use Feral's Wind in here. That's so strange. But anyway, we need to leave Ganon's Castle for a second. Because we need to head over this way. Because we got the Golden Gauntlets, we can now lift even heavier stuff than we could before. And there's only a few places in the game where you can do it since we're at the end of the game anyway. But right down here... ...is this giant pillar. So let's take a look at it. Also, check. Question mark, question mark, question mark! That's crazy. Let's grab this up. So yeah, we're very strong when we have the Golden Gauntlets. Anyway, this is also the Fairy Fountain. Which I suppose is the old Fairy Fountain, but also here maybe? Unless it's probably just a different one. But then what happened to the other one at Hyrule Castle? Doesn't matter.
Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Courage. I am going to enhance your defensive power. Receive it now. Your defensive power is enhanced. Your defensive power has now been enhanced. Damage inflicted by enemies will be reduced by half. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. This is an extremely helpful upgrade to get. We have double defense now. We we have 20 hearts, which is basically 40 hearts compared to what it was a minute ago. Just because we have double defense now. It's not increasing how much health we have, it just means we won't take as much damage from any enemies. So we are good. We are good to go. Anyway, let's head back into Ganon's castle. And correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that spelled wrong? It's fine. I'm probably just wrong. But anyway, now that we have this, we can actually go into a few other rooms. We could could have gone into the uh, room uh, for the water temple or water medallion. Uh, but I wanted to get the golden gauntlets as soon as possible. So anyway, let's lift this up. Just toss that. It's a good thing we didn't get hit by any of the debris. And let's head into this uh, light place. Also, hello. Pretty sure you're not the only invisible enemy in here. Quite possibly. So let's light everything on fire. Because that's going to help. There's some invisible keys, which apparently won't get sound fire, which is interesting. There we go. That's all of them. And now we have all these tree chests to open. Okay. Small key. It's good. Probably all the rest of these aren't important. Bloopy. Ice trap. Recovery heart. Okay. Ice trap. That one did more. Oh, I need to break out. I can actually break out of that faster. I. That's interesting. A bundle of arrows. And last one, I believe. Ice trap. Anyway, let's go through here and see what else we have to do. This is Zelda's lullaby. Interesting choice. You know, Ganon is just setting up rooms in his castle that you can only get into if you play Zelda's lullaby. To make a chest spawn in. It's fine. Anyway, small key. I just imagined for a second that Gandalf was the one dropping the chest from above somewhere. That'd be really funny. Anyway, I need to hook shot up there if I can. This perspective is a little bit weird in here. That's okay. Let's grab that. Where did I come from and where am I going? Down here, please. Get that. Look at that. I can't see. Perspective, why? Last one. Good. And the time is still going, though, so that's interesting. Ah, boulder, why? I'm gonna go the other way, it's fine. Ah, just go through the door, no. This is fine. 
Please, let me through. Please. Ah. Just go through the door. Okay, we're good. Also, there's no, no, no thing here. No pots. It's, it's, it's already done. Also, hello. I didn't know there was a thing there. <laughs> this is fine. Let me just touch out of the way of this. Interesting trap. Very nice. Anyway, if we use the lens of truth, we can see that there's a path through here. To the real room. It's a, a bit of a better trick than anything else you could have done. Anyway. The Light Bowery is dispelled. Hurry. So there we go. Just another two more to go. Fire and water. And I believe... We're actually going to want, for one thing, hover boots, which is a little bit strange. But also a fire tunic. Goron tunic. So let's do that. Because otherwise I think we have a time limit in here if we don't have the... Uh, what's it called on? The Goron tunic. Also this platform, when we stand on it without the hover boots, falls down. But with the hover boots, we're actually weightless, apparently. Oh, that's going down. Grab, 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 thank you. But it'd be really annoying to get through this whole room. Or get most of the silver rupees and then fall in the lava and have to recollect them also. Okay. I think this is also the last time we get to pick up one of these giant, gigantic pillars, so. Very sad. There it goes! And now it's over there. I like how it's not... Like, each one of those is unique in its animation. It's not just like reusing the same effect, basically. Or I guess... Kind of is the same. At least with this one and the one... That we used to get into... The fairy fountain. Kind of. But I mean... We're still using this one as a platform, so... And the one that we used to get into the... Light medallion... Section... Broke apart, so... That was different, but anyway... Let's go up here... Get that, please... Now let's go get this last one... Which I think this platform that... It's on... Goes... Down, okay, get off... Oh boy, don't... No... No... Oh dear... I don't think I have to recollect things, at least, so. But you probably need to take off your boots to do that. The, the thing, the, the thing's gone back. I have another chance to do it again. If I really wanted to. Which, of course I do. So, why not? Just like that. Okay, well, that's all that. Let's go down. And let's get out the long shot. Okay. There we go. And I think I can equip my everything now. Ah, going too, too far. There we go. I think it's hot in here. We can't stay here for long. Well, that's good, because I'm out of there now. Let's get that, and, uh, this. Thank you. And let's dispel this barrier. Well, this part of the barrier. The fire barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, brother.
Also, just because I didn't want to do things, because yeah, also just because I forgot, just over this way in Grand City, there's this room here. If we play the song of time. Here, in this lava room, just like that, makes a song of time block appear here. And if we go over here, we can actually long shot over to the target over there. And if we go into this hole, there are some more Deku scrubs here. Just because you obviously needed more Deku Scrubs than you did before. I think you need the long shot to get in here as well, so I don't know what these rewards could possibly be, but I'm gonna check them. That's one. Two. And that's three. Okay, start off with you. What do you have to sell? Bombs? No thank you. Arrows? Ah, uh, nah. And Deku Nuts. Okay, so really things you don't really need, but you have to put in a lot of effort to get here. It's quite interesting, but really unnecessary for the effort that it takes. But anyway, there's also another spot where you can make a Song of Time block appear over this side, so you can get back, back across to the other target on the other side. 